Welcome everyone. Today we will explore epistemology in engineering design, a crucial aspect that actually helps us understand how knowledge is used in designing engineering solutions. The key focus areas of this lecture would be understanding epistemology in engineering, the types of engineering knowledge involved in design, how rigor and creativity work together, the role of constraints in innovation. Understanding engineering design epistemology. First, what is epistemology? So epistemology is the study of knowledge, its nature, scope and limitations. In engineering design, epistemology helps us answer what do we know about a design? How do we validate design knowledge? What are the limitations of our knowledge in engineering? Engineering is a knowledge intensive process, meaning engineers use various types of knowledge to create innovative solutions. Next, the types of engineering knowledge. So, engineers design relies on different types of knowledge. So, first one is theoretical knowledge, scientific principles and mathematical models. And practical knowledge, that is engineering applications and hands-on experience. Third is experiential knowledge, lessons learned from previous projects. And then tactic, tac, tac, tacit knowledge, that is intuitive skills gained through practice. For example, the Boeing uh, 787 Dreamliner combined aerodynamics, that is uh, theoretical, manufacturing techniques, that is practical knowledge, lessons from previous aircraft, that is experiential and expert intuition tacit to develop an innovative craft. Next, there are three perspectives on engineering design. So, the first one is design as activity, a hands-on iterative approach involving building and testing. For example, agile software development where code is frequently updated based on feedback. Next is design as planning, a structured step-by-step -step process for problem solving. For example, waterfall model in software engineering which, which follows a predefined sequence. And then design as epistemology, understanding the assumptions, limitations and reliability of uh, design knowledge. For example, evaluating the safety of autonomous vehicles before deployment. So each perspective plays a vital role in engineering innovation. Next key questions in engineering epistemology would be when designing an engineering solution we must ask ontological. What is the nature of engineered artifacts? For example, how do we define an autonomous car? Is it a machine or an a driven entity? Next is epistemological. How do we know if a design is correct? For example, how can we prove that a bridge can withstand earthquakes? And third is methodological. So what are the best practices for engineering design? For example, should we use rapid prototyping or computer simulations? Next is axiological. What values should guide engineering design? For example, should safety be prioritized over cost in electrical vehicle batteries? So these questions will help engineers balance innovation with responsibility. Next is the challenge that is balancing rigor and creativity. So engineering requires both rigor and creativity, but they sometimes conflict. So importance of rigor, so it ensures reliability, safety, and efficiency. For example, medical devices follow strict regulations to ensure safety. Next, role of creativity encourages innovation and problem solving. For example, SpaceX used creative thinking to develop reusable rockets. And then potential conflicts. Too much rigor can stifle creativity. Too much creativity can lead to unsafe designs. For example, rise and vacuum cleaners balance both rigorous engineering, that is cyclonic separation technology and creative design, user-friendly aesthetics. Next, innovation and constraint working within boundaries. That is, engineers must innovate while working within constraints. Types of constraints would be regulatory, legal requirements and safety standards, technical, that is, uh, material limitations, software capabilities, etc. And regarding financial, budget restrictions and cost effectiveness. Affordable housing requires innovation in material selection and design while staying within cost limits. 
and real world example that the development of the smartwatch the evaluation of the smartwatches shows how engineering innovation overcomes constraints so first initial designs based battery processing and display limitations iterative in innovation where improved battery life touch screen interfaces and connectivity and in case of market adaptation adaptation so smartwatches evolved based on consumer preferences the first smart smartwatch that is the pulsar 1972 failed because it was too expensive nearly about dollar 3950 so today apple and samsung have optimized smartwatches for affordability and functionality So to succeed in engineering you must recognize that engineering knowledge is dynamic it involves over time balance rigor and creativity to develop effective solutions use engineering epistemology to critically assess designs work within regulatory technical and financial constraints while innovating by mastering these principles you will become an engineer who can tackle real world challenges effectively thank you